One of the first things you need to decide when creating augmented reality is how your experience will be anchored or placed in the physical world. For example, will your AR scene be experienced on the ground, on the wall, or fixed to a 2D image? Now, Arrow gives us options to do all three of these by using surface anchors, and we'll briefly cover that in this session. So please open the surface anchor.real file from the supporting material by going to open from the home screen and navigate to where you downloaded the file. This object in the scene is a simple layered Photoshop file of our logo. When you import a Photoshop file into Adobe Arrow, it actually retains the layering information and allows you to adjust the distance between those layers using the layer spacing option in the properties panel. Select the object either in your viewport or in the scene graph, and then come down here to layer spacing. Select the Z axis and type 0.4. This spaces the layers out just enough to give a little 3D look to the object. Now, you may notice that the adjustment caused the object to penetrate the ground plane. That's okay. Just come up here and press Align Selection to snap the object to the grid, like so. Now we're ready to talk about scene anchors. The first line in the scene graph is your scene anchor option. When you select it, you'll see three options in the property panel, horizontal surface, vertical surface, and image. Horizontal surface is our default surface anchor since it is the most commonly used surface anchor in AR experiences. Horizontal surfaces are surfaces such as the ground, a desktop, or table, or basically any flat or level plane. You'll notice that our 3D grid here represents that ground plane in our viewport. Now, select vertical surface, and notice how that grid now changes to represent the vertical surface, such as a wall. Vertical surfaces are great for AR experiences that need to be fixed to a vertical plane such as a picture frame, poster, or spiders. Now for our scene to work correctly, we need to rotate the object and stick it to the vertical plane. We can do that by selecting the object in the viewport and in the properties panel, set the X rotation back to zero. Now come up to the line selection icon and select it to snap the object back to the wall. The final surface anchor option is the image anchor. The image anchor option allows the experience to be anchored to a 2D image specified by you, the author. This allows you to fix your content to a printed or digital image, such as a poster, floor plans, or even a water bottle. Basically anything that has that image on it. Let's try that now. Select the surface anchor option in the scene graph and come down and select image as the anchor type. Arrow is now asking you which image you like to use. So navigate to the PNG you downloaded from the supporting material and select it. Now this image anchor could be any image you decide to use, but it's best to use an image with high contrast and sharp lines and corners. Some things to note when you bring in an image anchor on desktop. One, it is not an asset. It is an image the viewer needs to launch the experience. This means you cannot select it from the scene graph, nor can you move or edit the image within Arrow. And two, the grid in our viewport no longer matters. It is all about that image from here on out. If that image is on a poster on a wall, the AR scene, since it is stuck to that image, will be on a poster on a wall. If that image is stuck on a mobile phone, the experience will be stuck on that image on the mobile phone. The grid in our viewport, though helpful for navigation, no longer matters for the actual experience. Now, let's center the object so it appears over the image anchor when the viewer experiences the AR scene. So first select the object from within the scene. Now we could eyeball it and move the object down the Y axis, but let's be a little more precise. You'll notice that the pivot is at the bottom of the object. Now come over here to the properties panel and select center as a pivot option. That pivot point is now centered to the object. Now I'll come down to the Y position and just type zero. This moves the object to the center of the origin in our scene right on top of the image anchor. Now come over to Align Selection and reset the Z axis. And now you can experience this AR scene as a viewer would by launching it on Aero Mobile and previewing the scene. Or you could scan this QR code displayed on the screen with your phone and then use the image here as the image anchor. 
Now, I suggest playing around with different types of image anchors to fully understand the power of this feature. You can really generate some pretty cool results using image anchors. And now you know about all three surface anchors within Arrow. 